This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly be going over five programs that are great video editing tools that you can download and use on your computer. Um, these programs are Avidmux, Lightworks, Kden Live, OpenShot, and Cinelera. All these programs are completely free to download and use for both personal and commercial use. They are also all open source software. And if you want to download them and try them out for yourself, you can find download links at my website, tjfree.com. This first program, Avidmux, all of these programs are video editors. They all accomplish pretty much the same goal. But Avidmux is the first video editor we're going to look at. It works on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh. Um, it's great for encoding. So you choose the video um, output, the video container, as well as the audio container, um, and then the entire video format. You, do some, you can do editing. Um, it'll show you this is the input file. This here is the, out, the sample output file. Um, it will let you apply different filters and effects. Um, and it has different ones for colors. You can change the actual size, transform, and resize, and change the size of the picture. It has some um, miscellaneous effects, like I'll add a whirl here. And we can preview and see how that effect will look on our video. So it allows you to do effects and alter and modify the video. Um, and then we can see what our, how our input and output file changes on this. You can also use this scroll bar here to quickly fast forward, change the frame rate. So lots of different things you can do, but it's still a, a pretty simple tool. This next one, Lightworks, has been used. Um, it, it's recently been open sourced. It was used um, to make Hollywood videos like Pulp Fiction was actually um, edited and put together using this software, Lightworks. It's now been released as an open source software. Um, and it's great for editing, um, for doing large and complex projects. You can also add fil um, different effects, like if I drag and drop this negative effect here, it makes the whole screen negative, the whole, the entire, um, this entire clip I'm working with, um, which is actually, this is the Transformers, the movie, um, the animated movie. Um, yeah. I don't know. This is a very, very complex program. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. I'm just showing you just a little teaser example. Um, this next one, Kden Live, I'm going to show you in a virtual Linux machine that I have pulled up here right now. And it's got a pretty um, sim similar interface to um, this program here, uh, Windows Movie Maker. If you've used that one, Live Movie Maker, it has a, um, tracks at the bottom. You can add audio tracks and video. I'll show you this one I have. Um, made up here. Let me turn the volume up so you can hear. And so it's showing us which the, this playhead showing us the video clip. I've got some still shots in here, and then oops, we can also add if I want to add like um, this old film grain. I can add this to this airplane clip. We can find some more effects like if I want to drag and drop a. Uh, a, what under miscellaneous if we do I don't know just get some random ones here and we'll go oh yeah cartoons a good one where'd that go oh, that's, oh here it is cartoon so if we add cartoon to this Jeep we see it'll change the Jeep to a cartoon or we could have done that on the video as well and then if we play this it should have some should look a little bit different so it looks like an old it's flashing like it's an old an older clip and it's being a little bit laggy because it's kind of doing it on the fly. Yeah, it's kind of slowing down a bit. This, this virtual machine of mine, this virtual Linux machine, has like one gig of RAM, so it's kind of pushing it to the limits. But uh, anyway, that's the program, um, Kden Live. And if we look at this other one, um, OpenShot is the next one. OpenShot. Um, we'll pull it back up here. Um, it's also, this looks pretty similar to Kden Live, um, also has tracks so we can drag and drop. I've already put in my, uh, the video and, or the different clips I want to use, and I can drag and drop them. It has auto snapping together, so you get them within where you think they're supposed to be. And I can get an audio track, and we'll play this video clip. Okay, so that's that. You can also apply different effects and transitions. You can do brightness, um, and you can change how that is. You can apply different, like an echo effect to the audio if we want to. Um, what else? We can invert the colors on 
this tooth if we want to. Did that do it? Anyway, you can do you can add different effects onto here. So then, um, this last program I want to show you, Sinalera, and Sinalera. Uh, go back into here. It's pretty cool too. Uh, let's get all my windows open up here. Ah. So it will let you um, also you can apply effects. Yeah, I apologize. This is being really laggy, so you're not getting the full effect. But when you're doing it on your own computer, it won't be so laggy. I'm I'm trying to do too much stuff at once. Anyway, you can select and um, do different things. It's got these all kinds of different effects you can add. If you want to do, you can flip the image, drag it into there. You can, um, yeah, all different kinds of effects. Oops, there it is. Scroll over. Uh, I don't think this is going to let me get back and play it. But oh, you know what? I dragged. <laughs> yeah anyway you can see it's got got some potential um it, it is a good program and and uh you can import export in lots of different formats so i'll just minimize this whole window yeah those are the programs and then this last one um i guess i'll just show you this actually is a freeware they released it as a free program um live move windows live movie maker it comes with windows but it's a good solution too if you're wanting to put together some pictures with some music and some video clips as well it doesn't give you as much control as these programs do as far as effects and com complete control over the output format especially and um and formats you can work with Anyway, great video editing tools. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, check out some of my other ones. I do 2D animation um, videos of free software and 3D animation programs and um, graphic design, things like that you might be interested in. So go ahead and check those out and uh, rate this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't bother. Um, and hope you have a nice day and take care.